Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna go through this um, week's haul video. Pretty uh, decent stack, but uh, nothing. Um, no keys, no um, extras bought this week. Simply my uh, my regular pull list. Um, up first from um, AP is the uh, horror comics uh, number thirty one. I uh, think I still have number uh, 30. I think that just came out, but um, my uh, LCS seems to get, you know, several of them in at once and then nothing for a while. So um, I um, no, I just read number 30, and I think there was a werewolf vampire story in it. Um, again, always a good read if you're a fan of horror. Um, again, didn't realize also that they have like a jungle series, a, um, I know I got the fantasy series, but, um, some of them, uh, are already in issue 30, which I didn't even realize. Um, up next from AWA, the, uh, final issue of Rumpus Room. Um, again, this, um, reminds me of, uh, the case of Dorian Gray. It's just kind of uh, kind of a messed up story where uh, the uh, you know the villain's keeping a uh, little society of people in his basement and feeds off of them. So uh, yeah, it's kind of disturbing when you have the uh, you know the furries involved. And um, finally, the uh, return of Dark Ride. Uh, you know, this one uh, comes out every. Um, Every few months, this is issue 10. I feel, um, I don't know if this is the final one, um, or, uh, if there's a couple more issues to, uh, to go. Uh, it's been a while since the last one came out, so, um, I can't remember exactly what, uh, what happened. You know, I kind of have the general story, but, um, I can't, um, I can't remember if there was a big, um, reveal last issue or not. And then I'm going to put my soapbox out for a second, but um, got um, Duke number two. Um, you saw in the last haul video, um, I did uh, buy the uh, Transformers. And I've got to say, I, um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, all the little crossovers between Transformers, the G.I. Joe, all the little... Um, you know, little cameo appearances here and there. It um, really ties in ties in well, in my opinion. Uh, I was hesitant, to be honest with you. I grew up with GI Joe and Transformers, and they were very um, kid friendly. Um, these ones are very—I uh, wouldn't say not kid friendly, but they—it's uh, not the GI Joes, Transformers I grew up with. Um, you know, Starscream. Um, the, tra the Decepticon is just a, uh, a psychotic, and what he does to people, referring to them as squishies and things like that, just uh, I, it really, uh, really appealed to me. Uh, I know that sounds kind of disturbing, but um, you know, it wasn't um, you know like in the uh, the cartoons where you're firing a million rounds and uh, nobody gets hit, uh, just like um, you know stormtroopers. And then uh, Philadelphia, number 33. Um, again, I know they're trying to merge a lot of the image characters, crossovers. Um, that Spawn in an uh, issue or two. And now they've got Savage Dragon, which uh, I don't know Savage Dragon. Um, so I can't say I'm not a fan of his. But um, I've never felt the desire to read one of the comics. Though... Um, People are telling me there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot more adult themes in there, so I may um, I may have to check it out to see what they're uh, what they're talking about. And then the uh, return of World Tree. Um, again, looking forward to seeing how this um, this goes. Now, the uh, my LCS gave me a bunch of the variant uh, covers, the one in twenty fives, and um, Fortunately, uh, we're not in the budget this week, so I had to uh, to give them back. But um, you know, I love the story, and um, I just um, 
you know, for a collector, possible resale purpose. Um, a lot of the uh, chase covers don't seem to withhold or seem to hold their value as, um, as some of the other titles out there. And then finally, one that I'm, uh, well not finally, but one that I have been waiting for the return of, um, A Legacy of Violence from uh, Mad Cave. Um, again, it's been a while since number eight came out. But the um, the story, the uh, the gore in it um, is very uh, you know me a horror fan. I really really like it. It's a uh, I wouldn't say it reminds me of Saw, but there's no traps in it. But um, just the uh, the body horror is there. And um, Eden Frost number two. I um, know I had number one. I think um, it involves like a, um, a golem. Um, the kids um, have a, a village defender from the Nazis who's a, a golem, if I remember right. Not to be um, confused with um, Edenwood, which um, that's from Image, and I really think I'm going to just uh, drop that title, to be honest with you. It bounces around way too much for my liking. I like the concept, but um, I just uh, I, I can't keep up with it. So uh, I'm hoping that um, you know Mad Cave usually has just a solid, solid run. Um, also by Mad Cave, Skeeters number two. Um, basically mutated mosquitoes. If you like creatures, giant creatures, bloodthirsty creatures, this is the uh, this is a good one. And then um, Incredible Hulk number eight. The um, I saw the World War II Ghost Rider. Um, again, I'm a Incredible Hulk fan, Thor fan. The newer titles. They're doing okay, but I do find myself drawn to the uh, older artwork, older storylines. So I'm trying to collect some of the older runs. Uh, Dr. Aphra, number 40. I'm not 100% sure if um, this is the final issue in this run or not. I know um, I read Bounty Hunters from last week number 42 and that was the uh, the end of that run that story arc so if that comes back they're probably gonna start off with a new number one um again i had no idea that it was um technically ending i um i, I look into the comics but i don't have my pulse on every title that's going on out there um i do kind of like to be surprised like with my movies like if something's uh a trilogy or not, um, you know, I, um, you know, when I watched the first Lord of the Ring movies, I had no idea it was going to be a trilogy. It stopped after three hours. I was like, what the hell? When are we going to finish this? And found out that there's two more movies coming out. So, you know, I, I do like surprises like that. Uh, Wolverine, number 42. Um, again, uh, don't really care too much for the X-Men. Uh, not saying I won't pick up, you know, special um, uh, the, the the special covers, the uh, the past covers, you know, for appearances. But um, you know, I was curious, like I said, with the saber tooth war, the uh, the bloodiest uh, storyline uh, in Wolverine, and it did not disappoint as a horror fan. So I'm curious to see how um, it ends up. I'm kind of bummed that um, I got there a day late and they did not have any of the 1 in 25s with the uh, Daphne, Ke um, uh, the Laura Kinney uh, character. Um, I did just kind of peruse online. eBay's got it going for anywhere from 80 to 150 bucks. I'm like, no, thank you. From Oni, uh, Jill and the Killers. I had this on my want list, and I honestly can't remember why. But um, it obviously appealed to me. And I'm trying to remember what the premise is. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel, going through my brain here, I feel like it might be one of those where 
somebody's spouting off conspiracy theories and they end up getting one right. And then um, we have American Psycho, the uh, number three. I've been trying to get the uh, the business card variants. I am missing the uh, first one with Patrick Bateman on there. Then um, Xenoscope has got a couple of titles out. Um, Cinderella, Princess of Death. I um, had two covers to choose from, the uh, Ivan Tao and then this one. Um, as much as I like Ivan Tao work, um, I did like this cover better. And then Grim Fairy Tales, number 80. Um, I believe I just picked up 79 last week, so uh, they're kind of dumping them all at once. This was the only cover they really had. Not the biggest fan of the cover. And uh, I am a little disappointed. This is 32 pages of content. This is 22, but the, uh, the price on them uh, was close to $6 each. So... Um, if I'm spending $6, I want, uh, I want better content, more content. And then Houdini and Holmes. Uh, this is a Ivan Tao cover. And then um, the return of Oz, Kingdom of the Lost. Again, two covers to choose from. I really like this cover they gave me. Um, the, uh, the artwork, um, I think phenomenal, very, very realistic. And then, um, Distillery is back with, um, Sonoma. I got the, uh, Tula Loti adult, um, black bad cover. Um, I did open it, um, and I did edit it. I thought maybe the backside would, uh, you know, be safer, and it's not. It's very much the same thing. So, uh, for um, YouTube purposes, I went ahead and censored it. I um, figured I might get away with a little nipple shot in the background, but uh, the other ones probably not be able to get away with that. So, uh, you'll have to uh, check it out yourselves or... Uh, Go on mycomicshop.com. They do have what the covers look like on there. So um, anyway, that was my haul for this week. Um, again, as always, let me know if you picked up any of these titles and let me know what you're currently reading. We'll see you on the next one.